and here if you thought 32 gig RAM was enough look 96% used 6, 59 gig committed out of 63 so 32 gig swap no 32 gig RAM is not enough anymore or oh, definitely not just a question of upgrade but my next system is going to have to have 64 gig RAM look memory usage culprit is DaVinci Resolve 12 gigs Firefox next with nearly well, over 7 so it's basically them two big memory up 28 gigs 29 gigs between them that goes to show that 32 gigs is not enough software just is too lax that is a full of 32 gig nearly 30 over 30s of physical memories used that's the maximum so the system is now not stable because it's using the full amount so what I'm going to have to do is obviously I'm going to have to before it crashes I'm going to have to end end the task sorry but you're going to crash the system and there's no good closing browsers I have to exit Firefox as well so I, the reason I did that because it was 100% it was unstable and it's probably going to crash even Firefox is a blooming memory hog 8 gig or 7 gig I had to exit DaVinci Resolve before it crashed the whole system three screens 32 gig RAM not enough that is 50 percent mm, I'm gonna have to well they're the two main ones then you got Chrome so you have to exit Firefox and load up DaVinci Resolve and then do the render again exiting or anything else is not going to make any difference let's have a look at the graph maybe not, oh it's dropped to half now that just goes to show in 2021 even without installing any new software 32 gigs is now the is no longer enough not for me if you do video editing um, that's why I made the leap in my new system to 64 gigs which hopefully should arrive within two weeks it's been nearly two weeks since I ordered it from scan 5950x 64 gigabyte monster RTX 3080 10 gigabyte VRAM against this one it's got 4 gig VRAM it's got a 4 core processor instead of 16 core that's coming so that should be plenty processing power memory my new system should be a massive upgrade to this aging you know most people today haven't got 32 gig RAMs in their system well it's not enough for me as you just saw 60 gig is just a base 32 gig and it sh normally it should work with 32 gig fine but obviously I'm reaching the edge and whenever it gets to situations like that with using everything the swap and when I mean, it's using swap page memory committed oh it's 32 committed of 63 that was fully committed that means it's just a uh, seconds away from crashing so to prevent that crash I uh, ended I didn't even bother trying to exit it I just ended it ended DaVinci Resolve just show that if you're doing video editing 32 if you're thinking again a video editing system or any like if you're a professional and you're going to use it heavy you know heavy tasks like even just having loads of browsers open 
that's going to gobble up you know half 16 gigs of 32 and if you do anything intensive like machine especially machine learning and video editing you're going to need more than 32 gigs ram or you're going to be facing situations like this where your system is not going to be stable so when you hit the memory limit yeah you're, you're going to crash very quickly so get get 64 gig that would be more than enough I estimate really I need about 40 gigs now so 64 would give me ample scope to expand operations it's just a video to let you know how much memory you need 32 gigabytes is no longer enough yeah. 32 gig RAM is no that's like even for people just playing games you know 16 gig is probably too little now you have to look for 32 gig even for ordinary users like I said this system I've added 32 gig for guess how long six years you know, people today most people today aren't using 32 gig and I've had this for six years 32 gig RAM so hopefully my next comp computer 64 gig will last me five years it depends what the Ryzen processors are like so whatever you say about Intel the processors are more reliable well they used to be let me see if AMD's caught up this 4790k overclocked well it's only overclocked 100, 100 megahertz now because it is aging it's less it used to be stable at 4.6 but not anymore it crashes at once a fortnight or once a week so I've had to down clock it to 4.5 gigahertz to make it stable because it is six years old but it's still working still above its base clock of 4.4 gigahertz boost mm -hmm. that's a good thing about Intel the components are sturdy we'll have to see if the AMD's improved if it's Ryzen series are robust for long term use or not as robust as Intel I used to use AMD years ago but they were not reliable the processors weren't reliable used to overheat so I stopped using AMD went back to Intel which I've been on for a good 15 years you know I used to use what is it uh, the last AMD was probably Athlon Athlon something I can't remember now yeah so I think with the XP22 plus 2200 plus I can't remember anyway Intel processors have been more reliable than AMD for a long while hope the new Zen architecture is stable they've changed they've been improved only we will see in a few weeks when it arrives trying to render it again after I've clothed some programs so it's hovering around 85% the winter resolve taking up a war well, a large chunk memory but it's not heading anywhere near 100% memory usage so it shouldn't crash obviously CPU's bottleneck here GPU is not the bottleneck GTX 970 this is how you see what your bottlenecks are what you need to upgrade and why I'm going for a 4550x And 64 gig RAM and RTX 3080. Good memory staying stable around 84%. So it should complete the render. Leave the video render.